Hey guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and today I'm going to teach you guys how you can make a panning parallax effect just like this one in Open Tunes. All right, first of all, a parallax effect is when the background moves past the camera slower than the foreground to create some 3D sort of effect in a 2D environment, just like you guys see right here. So first of all, um, I wanna show you guys my setup here. I imported my background. I'm in the basics tab, if you guys are wondering. Um, these are the pre-tabs the pre -tabs that OpenTunes sets up just for um, anyone wanting to use it. I imported my background by dragging and dropping um, the PNG file right into OpenTunes, right on the timeline. And then I also have my foreground way above it. I have some things in the middle. I have my character here in my light spot there, but I have my foreground effect, which is this, this um, grass right here. I'll show you fly flashing it. There you go. That's the grass that I have as my foreground effect. My background is this sunny background that you guys have seen many times before. Make sure that if you're in um, the basics tab and you have a vertical X sheet that your background is to the left of your foreground or basically your foreground isn't to the right of your background. And if you're in a uh, timeline like this, make sure that the foreground is on top, like uh, the layering system, basically. I'm trying to tell you guys that you have to have it on top of the background so to, uh, we can tell OpenTunes how um, to make the parallaxing effect. All right, so let me get rid of all these keyframes so I can show you guys how to do this parallaxing effect in OpenTunes. Now, we're going to talk about keyframes a little bit in this video, but I'm going to be using them um, mostly. So don't really worry. Everything that I do, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And then you guys can make some experiments after, which is going to be cool. This is what it should look like once you guys have your things imported. So we're going to click right here to see the isometric 3D view of our scene. As you can see, everything's pretty flat, just a flat isometric um, rectangle right here with our scene on it. Now that we see everything here, let's let's change it up a bit to so that we can introduce the parallaxing effect into OpenTunes. Now, let's grab the Animate tool. It's right here in the Basics tab, but right at the top of every single toolbar. Um, and we're going to select in the top left of the Animate tool, we're going to select, let's start with our background. Now we're going to hit Control and hit and drag our mouse upwards to drag our background back. This is telling OpenTunes that our background background is further behind. And if we go back to that 3D isometric view, our background has moved a distance away from the camera. As you can see, there's um, some distance here. So let's go back to the regular view. Now we're gonna go to the foreground. I'm gonna click this right here, go to foreground. Um, always name your layers, by the way, guys. This is why it's very important. We're gonna click and do the opposite. We're gonna drag down and so that this is forward. Now OpenTunes knows, we go back to that 3D isometric view, that this grass is actually in front. So we're going to go back to, um, I'm trying to get out of this view, here we go. Alright, so now we're going to go to our character. Our character is closer to the grass, so we're going to hit control, drag him back like this. I want this light to go affect my character, so I'm going to drag this light up a bit too, just so he's not left out. Let's render that, make sure it's affecting our character. Now that's a little too much. I don't want the light affecting the grass. That means that the light is um, above the grass and we want we don't want that. So we want to push this back a bit, a little more. Keep pushing it back. There we go. Oh, that's behind everything. That's actually what the 3D views are very helpful for. There we go. So now our background is just shining on our character in the background and not on the foreground, which is exactly what I want. And if you guys um, are having trouble getting the right spot, you have this Z, the Z parameter right here. Um, each We're just basically editing the Z parameter in all of these. So if you guys um, need a precise something, you can just type it right into here. Um, very, very easy. So looking back in the um, isometric 3D view, we can see that there's quite a difference between um, the spread of our foreground and our background. And now all we have to do is leave it up to OpenTunes and our camera to calculate the difference in motion between these things. So we're gonna go back to the normal view right here. As you can see in OpenTunes 1.4, they added this camera column right here, which is very helpful. Um, they didn't have it before, but I'm glad they have it now. And what we can do is set a key. You just do by that by pressing Z. That's new information to me too. <laughs> and um, so we set a key, then we're gonna go down all the way to frame 100, which is what I actually, if you guys don't know how to do this, I just, um, um, I'm gonna delete this so I can show you guys how to do it. Usually when you import a frame, a uh, background, it's gonna start by looking like this. You, you just select it, grab this little lip on the bottom, scroll down, and then you just, to drag the exposure out. But anyhow, we're going to set a frame, we're gonna make a frame here by pressing Z, that's just our default, posi default position, and then we're gonna go scroll all the way down to frame 100, 
and then we're gonna click the animate tool, make sure we're on position right here, and then drag the camera left. And as you can see, the parallax effect is already sort of happening. You can see that the, the background and the foreground, they're actually moving at different rates, which is really, really cool. Um, especially if you're have you have a high refresh rate monitor, uh, looks kind of trippy. Anyhow, so <laughs> uh, irrelevant information. So now that we've we dragged it to where we want, OpenTunes automatically created a keyframe for us. And so now when we play our animation, we have this really cool parallax panning effect. And basically, the closer the, to the camera an object is, um, then the faster it's going to move on the screen. So I'm actually going to push this gra this grass back a little more, like this. Push it up a little bit and push it back. So now it moves even a little tad bit faster in the scene. So this is a very slight parallax effect. I am aware of that. If you guys want to um, make it a little more dramatic, you guys could just take the camera and, oh, that's the wrong thing. Make sure you want to select camera from here. Take the camera and drag it like this. That way you can see everything moving um, a, little, a little faster. There you go. Let's see, let's go to our camera view. So the grass is slightly moving faster than the background, but if you want to exaggerate even more, um, which I'm going to do because I'm trying to provide an example, push everything back more, push every, push things this forward more, and leave. I will leave our character where he is, and then as you can see, the parallax effect is happening a little more dramatically. So I'm going to actually make our character a little closer. Let's see if that. Yeah. So now the light doesn't affect him anymore. We can move this light um, above him. So our character is at a Z of. 13 and this is at a Z of 14. So I'm gonna make this a 12. There we go. So now it's affecting him. That's basically how um, you can use that this um, Z parameter to edit the par edit the depth of the object on your scene. All right, so now let's render this. And there we go. Now we have our parallax effect in Opatunes. Now I would do a slower, more subtle parallax effect in this. I would make it a little more dramatic, a little more subtle, just to give a slight 3D element. But that's basically how you do that in Opatunes. There's actually not much more to it. So if you guys have any questions, definitely join my Discord channel or leave the questions in the comments if they're simple. If you guys like this tutorial, then leave a like. And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>